Welcome to this week's Toddler Time. I'm going to tell you another animal story a little bit later on, but first, shall we sing a couple of songs? Do the one we sang last week, My God is So Big, shall we? Do you remember? Join in with me with the actions. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Shall we sing that once more, a bit quicker? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do for you and you and you. What about Who's the King of the Jungle? I think you like that one. Who's the king of the jungle? Ooh, ooh. Who's the king of the sea? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? I'll tell you. J-E-S-U-S. Jump up. Yes. He's the king of me. He's the king of the universe. The jungle and the sea. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Ooh, ooh. Once more. Who's the king of the jungle? Ooh, ooh. Who's the king of the sea? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? I'll tell you. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yes, he's the king of me. He's the king of the universe. The jungle and the sea. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Ooh, ooh. And I think we've got time for one more. Jesus love is very wonderful, Jesus love is very wonderful, Jesus love is very wonderful, oh wonderful love, so high you can't get over it, so low, bend down low, you can't get under it, so wide you can't get round it, oh wonderful love, well done. Now, do you remember a few weeks ago I told you the story about how God created the world? This is a story about one of the animals he made. See if you can guess which animal the story is about today. I'm going to give you some clues. This animal lives in the sea. Any guesses? Not a shark. Not a dolphin. Not a stingray. OK, another clue. This animal has three hearts. It's unusual. We have one this side to this left side a little bit of our bodies. Oh, this animal has three. What colour is your blood if you cut yourself? It's red. Well, this animal's blood isn't red. It's blue. Any ideas now? Another clue, this animal squirts ink at animals that come after it to try to kill it. We call those animals predators, those that try to kill other animals for food. And the final clue, I think you might get it now, this animal has eight legs. Yeah, octopus, well done. Once upon a time, there was a quiet and shy octopus. He nearly always went about on his own because he didn't have any friends. Have you got friends? 
Can you shout out the name of your best friend to me? Go on, shout it out. You probably got more than one friend. But uh, old poor old octopus, he wanted to have lots of friends, but he didn't have any. Because he was very shy, he found it really hard to talk to other creatures in the sea. So he just kept himself to himself. One day, our shy octopus was trying to catch a very slippery oyster. His eight legs or arms were going everywhere. Before he knew it, he tied himself up in one massive knot. And the more he pulled, the tighter he became. And he couldn't move. He tried with all his strength to wriggle free, but it was no good. In the end, despite his great embarrassment, he asked other creatures to help him. Many fish swam by, but they ignored him. All except one small, very kind, blue fish. This little blue fish offered to help him untie himself, to untie all those tentacles from all those suckers. And the little fish did it. The octopus felt very relieved. He was so happy that he was finally set free. But he was so shy, he didn't dare talk to the fish and make friends with him. He just said, thank you. And he swam off quickly. Later, the octopus thought about what had happened. He spent a whole night thinking that he'd missed a really good opportunity to make friends with that little blue fish. Well, a couple of days later, our octopus was resting in some rocks when he noticed that everyone around him was swimming hurriedly past. He looked out into the distance and saw this great, big, enormous, fierce looking fish swimming into the area. The octopus quickly hid and then peeping out from being in the rocks from his hiding place, he saw that the huge fish was chasing the little blue fish that had helped him the other day. And the big fish was looking so dangerous that no one would help the little fish. But the octopus remembered how the little fish had helped him the other day. And so he decided he had to do something to help. So the shy octopus shot out from the rocks, straight in the path of the big fish, in between the big fish and the little blue fish. And he shot out the biggest inkjet of his life. He grabbed the little blue fish and swam off with him to hide in the rocks. Everything happened so fast that the big fish didn't know what had happened. He blinked his eyes, he shook his head, but he soon recovered from his surprise and off he went into the rocks, looking for the octopus and the little blue fish. Now he really wanted to gobble them up. Soon though, he began feeling a terrible itch, first in his gills and then in his fins and then all over his old whole body. Perhaps you could pretend you got a hit itch. It turned out that the big fish was allergic to the octopus's ink. So the big fish swam away, irritated all over. As soon as the big fish was gone, all the fish who had been hiding came out. And they congratulated the octopus for being so brave. Well done, they said. You're so brave, they said. That was amazing, they said. You're a hero, they said. Then the little blue fish told them how the other day he had helped the octopus. But he said he'd never known anyone that would be so grateful that they'd end up doing something so dangerous as that. Here in, this, here in this, the other fish discovered how nice and how brave the shy octopus was. And everyone wanted to be a friend of such a brave but shy octopus. I hope you like that story. This little story teaches us perhaps two or three things. 
Firstly, it teaches us that when we have the chance to help others, it's a good thing to help them. Many of the fish wouldn't be bothered to help the octopus, would they? Except the one little blue fish. The Bible says, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people. That means when we get a chance to do good to help someone, let's do it. Give me the thumbs up if you want to do it, if you get the chance to help someone. Another thing it teaches us is that we don't know what people are like sometimes until we get to know them. The Bible says that we shouldn't judge by outward appearances, but judge people what they're like on the inside. How kind and helpful are they and caring? And we sometimes don't know what people are like until we get to know them. The fish didn't know that the shy octopus was kind and brave until they got to know him. And perhaps the third thing it can teach us is that to, be, to, to make friends, the way to do that is to be a friend. The little blue fish was a friend to the octopus and the octopus was a friend to the blue fish. And there are lots of examples in the Bible about friendship and how important friends are. I'd like to say a little prayer now. And thank God for our friends. Pray that we'd make new friends and that we may help others when we have the chance. Shall I just quickly pray? And if you want to say amen at the end, if you agree with my prayer, please do. Father God, we want to thank you for every one of the friends that we all have. Help us to be a good friend to other people. Help us to make new friends. If we know someone that's shy, help us to make a special effort of talking to them. And please, Lord, when we get opportunity to help other people, help us to be able to do it to take the opportunity and to help them. Amen. I hope you like that story. Next week, I'm not going to be able to record one because I'm moving house and I won't have the internet set up. But what I will do is I will put a post on Toddler Time of, of a, a story that I recorded last summer that you may not have heard. It's a story about a lost teddy bear. OK, good to see you. Hope you've enjoyed it this week. Bye.